details, uh, but we hope to have them back soon. Nonetheless, we have something lined up for you here today. We are joined by Ashok Sunny, of course, uh, who's a fashion designer. Karibu sana to the show. Thank you very much. Great to have you here. It's Thank been you. a long while. Yes. I hope you've been keeping well. Yes, definitely. Good, yeah. good. We're here to talk about men's coat trends, um, especially with the cold weather that has checked in, Mazi. It's, it's, it's quite, <laughs> uh, it's been chilly. <laughs> yeah, it's been more intense even uh, than last year. Yeah, yeah and true. it feels quite early on yeah, too. Yeah. But um, anyway, uh, hopefully you're here to show the gentlemen how they can still look swagged out. Yeah, definitely. Yeah? yeah, that's what we do. Okay. Yes. And um, a coat, of course, is is a is an it's. Would you call it an accessory? Like as far as the way the men would wear it, or what would you call it? It depends with which kind of a coat. Mm -hmm. There's a trench coat. There's an overcoat. Mm -hmm. So a trench coat is more of a casual style. Okay. So if you're wearing, if you're working with your, with your jeans, with your t-shirt, with your pull neck, a trench coat is more working with that style. Okay. Then you have an overcoat. An overcoat is a is a longer coat with the style of a normal blazer, okay. but a bit heavy in terms of fabric. Okay. Because I think uh, when people are making overcoats, one thing they don't consider is fabric, because mm. you have fabrics that are very heavy, fabrics are a bit lighter than the than the the heavier fabric, but heavier than the normal coat fabric, which you wear on top of a suit. Okay. Yeah. So what what sort of fabrics are we talking about then for that one? Uh, mostly for overcoats, we usually do wool. Okay. Because wool is more heavier in terms of density, but it also depends on the level of wool. There's yeah. a super 100 to a super 200. Oh, so okay. a super 200 is more lighter, which is more suited for, for suits, okay. the normal blazer suits. A super 100 to a super 130 is more heavier, okay. so which is more suited for an overcoat. But there's also a wool for overcoat, which is very, very heavy. Right. Like this one, mm -hmm. the fabric is very, very heavy. Mm. It's also waterproof. Okay. So when, when, when it's raining, it doesn't soak water. Right. You can see water on the on the blazer, but it doesn't it soak, so you can, it can never get to your inside outfits. Okay. Yeah. It's keeping you warmer. Very warm, mm -hmm. very warm. All yeah. right. Yeah. So we have several images to show you guys, um, just as far as, you know, what this look, you know, what how you can style your own outfit. So let's take a look at those now. Wow. Tell us about that first one. <laughs> This is a double-breasted suit. Okay. Uh, it's a window pane suit with a with an uh, a beige overcoat. Okay. The overcoat is heavy. You know, you can accessory with a scarf if you don't want to do a tie. Yeah. Because uh, the double breast will allow you that. But in our Kenyan weather, we can only do this once a year. That is between June, July. I the know. weather. <laughs> so mostly, uh, it's not it's not a trend that people are embracing very much yeah. because most of or the whole year is very very hot mm -hmm. so but if it's when you wake up in the morning and you feel this weather is not working with me it's very very cold yeah that's a, a coat you can wear with a suit depending on the fabric of the suit if it's very light or very very high density right and yeah. i see you've definitely you know color coordinated yeah. quite a yeah. bit there yeah. um with the grays yeah uh but let's take a look then at the next uh picture wow very interesting what fabric is that the 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 the, the, the suit is khaki Yes. The overcoat is is wool and fur. It's a mixture of wool and fur. Wow. So if you're going for for a more informal setting, if you're someone who's very stylish, you uh -huh. you, you want to look very stylish, this is a look you can work with. It's not a look for the office because yeah. khaki is not for the office. Yeah. It's maybe if you're going for a brunch, if you're going for a date, you okay. want to look stylish if you're going for an event. Yeah. Yeah, that's the kind of Dang, look can do. you imagine your date showing up <laughs> <laughs> like that? That's, a, that's what you call dress to impress. Well, we impress, Kabisa. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Let's move on to our next image then. Weh. Okay. Now, this is, this is this wool. This is for a more wool and leather. Yeah. edgy, daring yeah. guy. Because, yeah. uh, like, we are looking, the inspiration was a biker. Mm -hmm. Someone who's a biker and lo wants to look stylish. Mm -hmm. So, we blended leather wool so it came up with that kind of style mm -hmm. and then with a pull neck to make you still feel warm mm -hmm. so if you're riding a bike you know it's always very very cold when you're riding a bike it's windy right. so you can work with a style and you add your your other coat on top so if mm -hmm. you're going somewhere you just remove the other coat and you still look stylish mm -hmm. you don't you need not look like a biker every time right yes okay yeah next we have what this one almost looks like a skirt on the body. It's like a play on the eyes. <laughs> now it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a double. Uh, we, we used uh, double colors on the on the coat. So yeah. the top the top is black. Uh -huh. Then we blended with a beige at the bottom. So it's one coat. It's one overcoat. But now if you, if you're not a suit guy, you don't want to wear suits every day. You're not wearing suits every day where you're going to work. Yeah. You just do the hat, a pull neck, 
the blazer on the overcoat on top with the, with your jeans fitting jeans same same for the lady on the side so it's unisex yes Hey, mean attack ku jawa now it's not what happens now when the two of us buy the same coat <laughs> it's called twinning <laughs> To twin pamoja yeah. to talk and you behavior. <laughs> Do you think men in Kenya are ready to embrace this look? Oh, they, they, they are ready, but they need to know it's there in the market. That's okay. that's what we're trying to work on. Okay. Br- bringing uh, the awareness to the people that we can make this kind of outfits and you can wear them. Yeah. But the problem is also fabrics because uh, with our weather, you need to work on the fabrics, get the fabrics right because mm. it's not that cold. It's not winter. Yeah, and Nairobi, yeah. you know, it has mood swings. Yeah. Eh? It's yeah. Yeah. super cold in the morning. <laughs> By like 12, it's hot. Yeah. And then 5 yeah. o'clock, suffering. it's yeah. raining. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Very okay. True. Yeah. We can take a look at the next yeah. one. I like this. Yeah. So this is, this is I was telling you, like for you're going to the office. Mm-hmm. It's very, very cold in the morning. You leave your house at 5 or mm-hmm. 6 in the morning. So you need your three-piece suit with your overcoat on top. Yeah. When, when, but just to, to make you feel warm. But when you get to the office, obviously you remove the overcoat. You don't wear the overcoat inside the, the building. So you just remain with the three-piece suit. You're still very warm. Yeah. Yeah. This reminds me of suits. You know that yeah. series? Yeah. It, it feels like this, this is a boss. Like a very serious... He's going to go and negotiate some very serious deals. <laughs> I like it. Yeah. And let me talk about the color here. Because yeah. you you've it's it's a monochromatic look yeah. in many yeah. ways. Yeah. Um, is there sort of any sort of science or tips as far as how you then match your your coat to your outfit? Do you want it to sort of blend into the outfit? Because most of them seem to have been really related to the color yeah, yeah. of the day. Actually, what I came to learn with uh, African men, Kenyan men, is uh, they usually don't want to do a lot. You mm. don't want to look very, very busy. So when you're doing um, a, bla- a suit, if it's a plain suit, if it's a, if it's a midnight blue, you can work with a dark navy blue. Mm-hmm. Overcoat. Mm-hmm. You just you have the same color, but different tones. Okay. Then you can just do a white shirt or a black shirt, a universal okay. color. Okay. So you just look toned down. We're very sleek. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Nice. Let's yeah. take a look at the next one. That's cool too. And this one now we're seeing a pattern. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Coat so for more of a more formal ish. Yeah. You know yeah. type of outfit. Yeah. Yes. For this, uh, we, we, if you, if for, it's a more structured blazer. Mm-hmm. So you want you want the the overcoat to work for you. You want it to be more visible. So you do with a black double-breasted suit mm-hmm. inside mm-hmm. and a white shirt. So you just let the overcoat work for itself. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Next image. Wow! Look at some dapper gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> that's one of them now. I think that's probably the brightest pop of color yeah, we've seen with yeah, the red one. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. The red is blending with the tie. Then the suit is more. It's it's coffee brown, so it's more toned down. So you also let the blazer work. All of this is you're just letting the blazer work for itself. Because when you're trying to market, we're trying to market more of the overcoats mm. than the suits. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Um, for those guys who yani wow wamezoea tu hoodie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it ni akuva hoodie. <laughs> Is there any sort of particular look that you would sort of advise them to lean towards that maybe gives them the same level of comfort? Mm. You know, they don't want to feel like they're too uptight. Yeah, yeah. Uh what sort of would be their options? Uh actually there's a there's a something we try to work on in terms of casual wear because there are people on a day to day you're going to class, you mm. go you, you're a normal guy, you're working uh, you're not working in an office, a white collar job. So we're trying to work on uh, the casual wear in terms of the hoodies, the pull necks, the t-shirts. Mm-hmm. Then you're blended with blazers. So you can wa- a very nice look is when you have a hoodie and a blazer on top. It looks very slick. So yeah. it doesn't look like you. It looks like you're trying. You're yeah. trying to, to have some style in, in you. Okay. And you can also work with jeans and khakis. So yeah. it looks a bit more stylish. Yeah. But also more toned down. So a blazer on top. A blazer on top of. I hoodie. like that. Yeah. Or a sweater with yeah, a blazer yeah, on top. Yeah, yeah. That looks cool. Yeah, I like that yeah, look. Yeah. Um, do we have any more images? Yes. All right. Oh, that's really nice. Now that's an overcoat. If you don't want to do a blazer inside or a suit inside, you okay. just do the overcoat, the tie. And the shirt with your with the official pants and the shoes you look very nice. Okay. Yeah. And for this one, so you're saying it's not long. It's long. It's long, but you oh, don't have to long. do a blazer inside okay. because it's you double could breasted. Okay. You literally just yeah. so you kitoa ni shati tunatai yeah. yeah. and you're yeah. ready to go. Yeah. 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 And I like this color palette yeah. as well. Yeah. And I mean, okay, so we've said Kenyan men, okay, typically wouldn't like very bright. Yeah 
things. Yeah. Um, for the one who is quite reserved, is there a specific color palette you would advise? You know, if they if they could only buy one, should they go with like a brown or a tan versus a yeah. black or a navy? Yeah, yeah. A, a tan actually is the best because it, it just works like a navy and black. It yeah. works with all outfits. Yeah. So if you just want to add a pop of color to your, to your wardrobe, but also still work with your character, what, what you like to wear, a tan will be, look come out very nicely. It's the new black, yeah, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. it true. looks very, <laughs> it gives you like, it's still a yeah, statement. Yeah, and it gives you an edge. Yeah, yeah. but still does the function. Yeah. Wow, okay, yeah. well, I think we're kind of out of the images right now, but yeah. so typically if someone wants to get a good coat, because it sounds like this is a bit of an investment, yeah, yeah. Uh, but it's one that, it's a piece that you would have for a long yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. Um, what sort of range would someone expect to pay for that? For for a very heavy, high density like this, it's usually 25,000. Mm -hmm. For a normal, less dense uh, overcoat, it's 15,000. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. And all of these you custom make yourself? All of them are made to measure. Okay. Yeah. All right. Someone here is, is asking, why do you call them over, overcoats? Overcoats because... Uh, is it oval, like O V A? No, no, ov over, over, over. Or you, you wear it on top, on top of a normal coat. So that's yeah. why it's called an overcoat. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, Nancy, I'm going to take a trench coat. Taipata <laughs> Aji. The problem uh, with us here in terms of making trench coat is the fabric. Because yeah. you don't have the fabric that... It needs to be lighter. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. A trench coat. And then a trench coat is more is more like an, a raincoat. Mm -hmm. But with, with more... The yarn of the wool is more is is more in terms of wool, so uh, it doesn't have to soak. So that the problem is getting the combination right in terms of fabric that we have here. We don't have that kind of fabric. Okay. And then if the problem with if you're making an overcoat, uh, a trench coat, it will be very very costly. Mm. Now someone is buying something from Tumba at five hundred to a thousand bob. Now you're making an overcoat at. 8,000 to 10,000 bob. Yeah. So for them, it doesn't make sense. So in terms of, in terms of uh, selling, this, this blazer will be a problem. Yeah. But overcoats, it's very hard to find them in, 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 in Toomba. So yeah. that's why we, we're focusing on overcoats. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Ashok, great to see you again. Thank, Thank you, you for coming much. through Thank to the show. And of course, once again, how can people find you? All of our social media handles are Shock Sunny Tailored Limited. Okay. Yes. All right. Um, thank you again for being here. Thank you. <laughs> uh, we do appreciate you guys uh, for being here on the show today. Uh, thank you for all of your feedback and your comments. Let's meet here again tomorrow for even more Full Circle with Joyce. Until then, take care of yourselves and we'll see you soon. Ciao.